an incredible story about weight loss. Two poker playing brothers teaming up to get healthy, motivated by a $150,000 grand prize. One losing over 100 pounds, the other gaining more than 50 pounds to land at the exact same weight at the exact same time. Here's how they pulled it off. Professional poker players Jamie and Matt Staples have won it big, not at the tables, but in the gym. Just a year ago, 26-year-old Jamie looked like this, weighing in at 304 pounds. On the other end of the scale, his younger brother Matt, a lightweight at only 135 pounds. I cannot have that. But now, each of them weighs exactly the same. My name is Jamie Staples, and I weigh 188.3 pounds. My name is Matthew Staples, and I weigh 188.3 pounds. Their simultaneous transformation, the result of a $150,000 bet offered by a fellow poker player and friend. The challenge was this, in one year, get to the same weight. One of them would lose the weight, the other would gain it, both achieving a more ideal, healthy body. Now to make it happen, they hit the gym. Jamie focusing on burning those calories and Matt pumping iron. I fell in love with it. I really enjoyed, you know, putting on muscle, putting on size. Changing their diet was central to their transformations. For Jamie, trading fast food for smoothies. No sugar, very low carbs, protein and vegetables. And for Matt, pasta, rice, and lots of protein. Experts say their rapid change is totally safe. They really spent some time saying, how are we eating? How are we exercising? And they said, let's actually make this conscious effort to not only win, but to make sustainable change that's based in reality. After 365 days, that final weigh-in. <laughs> Jamie shedding more than 115 pounds, and Matt bulking up by more than 50 pounds. Their new weights two of a kind, winning that $150,000 pot and so much more. That's pretty remarkable. Now, it came down to the wire on the last day. Matt, the brother who was trying to gain weight, he had to eat a huge meal and then gulp a whole bunch of water to reach that goal. Uh, we are joined now by Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jen Ashton. Good morning, my dear. Good morning to you. I'm hungry. Why did you put food in front of me? I know. So you have a degree in nutrition. You're also board certified in obesity medicine. Right. What can you tell us about incentive dieting, which is what this was? I think this story gives new meaning to put your money where your mouth is. There is actually some data that shows that financial incentives, both rewards and penalties, can help people lose weight or not gain weight um, when you look at that. And that's not necessarily new. But I think the problem here is that we know conclusively in the world of obesity medicine and nutritional science that the cause of obesity is complex. It's a complex disease with genetic causes, environmental causes, behavioral, how much you're eating, how much you're drinking, what you're eating and drinking, hormonal and metabolic. So to imply that lack of willpower, lack of dedication, lack of commitment is on that list sure. is not just harmful in an emotional and social sense, but it's actually inaccurate from a medical sense. That has nothing to do with it. So Matt, uh, is the brother that had to gain a significant amount of weight. Right. Is that healthy. That's the story behind the story here. We always hear about people trying to lose a significant amount of weight and again in the short term it's possible. Long term that's a different story. We oftentimes don't realize that gaining weight in a healthy way can be just as hard and it can be just as unhealthy to be significantly underweight just as it is to be significantly mm -hmm. overweight. So the foods I have in front of us when I counsel people about the safe and healthy way to gain weight I tell them you should have fill the tank every three hours with nutrient-dense foods, so protein shakes, this delicious avocado toast, can, eggs. Can we eat this? Sure. Uh, maybe, <laughs> <laughs> maybe during commercial break, during commercial it might break. be a little messy, that's but, but that's a perfect example of healthy fats, whole grains, protein, you know, protein bars, chicken, lean protein salads. You want to fill the tank in a healthy way, but to be clear, this is not about getting fast food and piling the number on, so the number on the scale goes up. Do it in the right way. All right, yeah. Dr. Jen Ashton, thank you so you much bet. for your insight. Cheers to you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.